Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this grungy logo animation in Adobe After Effects. This is a video from the Pixrate series. So with a huge shout out to Pixrate, let's begin. All right, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So in here, I have the X logo and before we start, let's review our composition settings. So I'm going to right click on the design composition that I have made and the width and height is set on 1080 and the frame rate is on 24 frames per second. So let's hit OK. So on the first step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a one entire rotation for this logo. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press R to reveal the rotation and then I'm going to set a keyframe and then I'm going to go towards one seconds and 12 frames and I'm going to rotate it for 180 degree. And again, on three seconds, I'm going to rotate it for one entire rotation and the reason I made a keyframe on 1 seconds and 12 frames because I want to have a small delay so the animation stops at here and then goes for a full rotation. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select these sets of keyframes and then I'm going to right click on it and then in keyframe assistance I'm going to select easies and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on it one more time and then in keyframe velocity I'm going to set the influence on 80% for both incoming and outgoing velocity. So here's the animation. Well that looks good. Now since our composition is 6 seconds let's add a loop out expression by holding alt and clicking on the stopwatch and then I'm going to select the loop out expression in here so now the animation repeats great so now what i'm gonna do is that on the next step i'm gonna duplicate this text one more time and i'm gonna move it the beneath the x logo and i'm gonna call it echo and it is because i want to add the echo effect next now in order to repeat this logo what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna change the number of echoes to 10 but now, but right now the animation looks too wild. So I'm going to change the echo time to minus 0 0.01. So also let's just fix my preview. So I'm going to click on preview and I'm going to turn cache before playback. So now we will have some realistic previews. All right, that seems good. Now let's go towards the project panel and let's right click on this empty space in here and let's create a new composition and this time I'm going to call it final and let's hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring the design texture in here and then I need to create a background so I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to call it background and let's change its color to a darker color and I'm gonna move it beneath. Great. Also, let's just add a fill effect. And let's set it to white. Great. Now let's go towards the project panel. In here, I have a texture folder that consists of two textures. One is overlay and one the displacement texture. So I'm gonna bring the overlay texture in here and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change its mode to overlay. However, I'm going to add a levels effect and let's decrease the gamma channel to make it a bit darker. So I'm going to set it on 0 0.50. So that seems good. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the displacement texture this time and I'm going to select the and then I'm gonna select the design I'm gonna add the time displacement effect and I'm gonna change the this time displacement layer to displacement texture and then I'm gonna change the source to effects and masks and now let's preview well nothing will happen because the texture now is on our way so I'm gonna change its mode to overlay So now we will have this effect like this, which is good. So 
so let's just turn down the max displacement to 0.2 to make a, a smooth animation that seems good but mm, I don't think it is as realistic as it should be like look at the edges right now they look so pixelated so to fix that what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna add the displacement map effect and I'm gonna again move it on top of the fill effect and now this time I'm gonna set it to displacement texture I'm gonna set the source to effects and masks and now let's increase the max displacement to a number such as like 35 so now as you see it looks way 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 better so if I increase the max vertical displacement to even a number such as 50 that looks pretty good however we can still make it better by adding a posterize time effect and decreasing the frame rate to 12 80 seems to be way efficient great now what I'm going to do is that on the next step let's just duplicate this overlay texture one more time and let's set it on add man now it is too white so let's decrease the opacity to 30% however let's just turn down the gamma channel to 0 0.10 and let's just increase this channel to 0.35 well all done thanks for watching this video if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye